This is Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Uh, welcoming back on the program from Houston Moves, my man. Juan Claiborne. What's going on, G? Man, nothing much. It's been a long time. How you been, KG it's Smooth? It's been pretty good, Happy bro. belated birthday, man. Oh, thank you, brother. No problem. No problem. <laughs> and you brought uh, some company, which you, you have the lovely... <laughs> I'm Kay Kanisha. Hey, Kanisha. How are you? I'm doing well. Okay, so listen here. Let's uh, Houston Moves. Um, been making some moves uh, yeah. earlier in the spring. You know, had an event where you were helping raise money to the victims of Hurricane Harvey. And now yes. you all are back with... The Houston Gospel Fest. Now, yes, yes. Tell us about the Houston Gospel Fest. There's a lot of gospel fests that I hear about, that we hear about, mm-hmm. that run through the South. So, but this one is unique. Yes, it's very unique. And so when you talk about Houston Gospel Fest, we want to do a little something different than, you know, your average concerts and bringing down, you know, your big names, Kurt Franklin and mm-hmm. everyone. We want to really focus in on our locals this time, uh, the locals who are up and coming artists. You know, those big names, they already have a name. So we want to focus in on, you know, um, the people who are trying to grow. And we're all about collabing and helping people uh, develop their own market by coming together and making moves with us. Indeed. Okay. And uh, what was the, uh, uh, how did this come about? What was, the, what was the inception? What was the inspiration behind, you know, wanting to focus on local artists? Um, Just, you know, I feel like, you know, a lot of us get lost in the shine, you know, everybody mm. works so hard every day and always kind of feels like their efforts aren't noticed. Mm. So we went through an extensive screening process um, and kind of weeded out almost to 50 to 70 different artists and came down with a select 20 that we really wanted to push um, and so we wanted to be the first people to do that. And so that's what we're going to do on July 15. Oh, it's going down. So, Kay, uh, what is your role with the uh, Houston Gospel Fest? So um, Dewan is actually my partner. So we put this event together. Um, and again, like he stated, it's just a great way to reach out to the community. You know, some local artists who are upcoming, who don't have that, you know, that that shine that they're not, you know, a celebrity yet. And we want to give them a chance to, you know, show what they're doing and, you know, get their voice heard. But, you know, also express that, you know, spiritually in what, in what way they feel, you know, necessary. And so it's the great thing about this event is, like Dewan said, it's very diverse. You know, we have uh, dance teams that's going to be coming. Uh, we have about, I think, three three dance teams that are going to be there. Mm-hmm. I think right now, like Dewan said, we have about 20 artists on the lineup. And these are actually good, good artists. Um, and they're not from just Houston. We have artists that are actually coming from all over. So which is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, indeed. And I, I see that it's it's going to be you guys are going to be celebrating, you know, a lot like the diversity of Houston. Yes. You know, uh, music, dance, brunch, you know, the cultures right. from around the world. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, Houston, the most diverse city in the U.S. And yeah. so we think one of the best ways to leverage that is to show the diversity, you know, uh, within religions as well. You know, we all come from one God. And so why not have a Sunday fun day and a nice brunch to go with it where we can celebrate that? Indeed. And, you know, really show the unity here in Houston. For sure. You listen to Access Houston. We're talking to Dewan Claiborne of Houston Moves. He's brought along the lovely K with him. And uh, we're talking about the Houston Gospel Fest. That's happening on, uh, that's uh, Sunday. Yeah, yes. Sunday. It's next yes. Sunday. Next Sunday. Next Sunday, Sunday. July 15th at uh, the India House. So, Dewan, tell us how Houston Moves, how you created uh, this nonprofit organization, and 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 what was the, uh, the the brainchild behind that? So it was really just coming about, you know, and thinking about we can we never do things by ourselves, and if you are doing something by yourself, then you're really limiting yourself. So Houston Moves is all about forming a movement, you know, just like mm-hmm. she's my business partner. We're collabing. We're all about collaboration. Just how with these upcoming local artists, we're collabing with them to get them out there more, you know, so hopefully more people will want to book them at their gospel shows from around mm-hmm. the world. So really starting a movement of individuals doing more things together than doing it separately and thinking small mindedly. Building great mm-hmm. uh, Mm-hmm. It's just about building great relationships. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's one of our main goal is just to build relationships. And that includes our vendors. That includes, you know, our performers and also to help them grow. You know what I mean? So our, our, it's really important to us to build relationships in the community. 
And hopefully, you know, we can continue this process every year and it'll grow. You know, that's the point of it. So just continuously grow every year. You know what I mean? So we're excited about that. We have tons of, you know, if you're going to be hungry, <laughs> being there Sunday is definitely where Come you want to be. <laughs> we have tons of food trucks. Um, I mean, you know, we know people from church. They love to eat. Right. <laughs> Don't they? You know, they love to eat. And, uh, You're going to be feeding, too. Oh, yeah. We feeding for sure. You know, and so one of the uh, pro people who are going to benefit from this is there's a church called Church Under the Bridge. A lot of people mm -hmm. aren't familiar with it. It's actually a pastor. He preaches seven days out the week, rain, sleet, or snow in Third War. He preaches to the homeless. And if you ever, the way I got on to this is my church, Church Without Walls, we actually go there the first saturday of each month at 6 p.m mm -hmm. we feed the homeless we pray pray with them it's truly a man life-changing experience like one thing is i always see homeless adults mm -hmm. i've never seen that many homeless kids mm -hmm. i'm talking about 15 20 of them mm -hmm. so we're gonna go out there and sponsor you know a few of those uh praise and worship sessions and just give back to them because at the end of the day you know hey they're human beings just like we are yeah that is so uh, important. You, that's something that I don't myself don't uh, sometimes forget to think about. Right, right. The children. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, you know, they're a lot of times in this situation by default. You mm -hmm. know, they didn't choose to live this lifestyle. You know, mm -hmm. it, it was just by default, you know, based off somebody else's wrong decisions. Mm -hmm. So if we can have some type of impact on that or, you know, say a prayer with them or, you know, give them something that might change their outcome. That's that's right. life changing to me. Yeah. That's what we're here to do to serve and uh, um, take our resources and bless others who don't have those. Well, resources. that's what Jesus right. did. Right. right. Yeah. Right. And so, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. You know, so so you're making disciples them. like us. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Indeed. You listen to Access Houston talking to Dewan Claiborne and Kay of Houston Moves, the Houston Gospel Fest happening next Sunday, July 15th pull at up, the India up. House. Yeah. Where can they go and get more information? Um, they can go to www.whatsthemove.com to get tickets, see all the information. Or if you don't feel like doing that, you can go to Eventbrite. All you got to do is htxgospelfest.eventbrite.com. It's on Eventbrite or www.whatsthemove.com. Now spell moves because your moves. moves is different. Hey, you're right. You're right. So my move is www.whatsthemoves.com. M O U V E S. That's their moves. Yeah, we're making <laughs> major moves. <laughs> making, making major moves. Yeah, and so and I think this is going to be uh, an incredible event. I had to come and pull up on y'all. Yeah, come myself. on, come on, taste a little brunch. The, yeah, know, we can definitely use the community support again. You know, come come eat some great food. You know what I mean? Like I said, we have tons of food trucks, food vendors. If you're hungry, make sure you come out um, to this gospel fest. You know, again, we want to, you know, give back to the, the youth in the community. So we want to, you know, give a lot of the proceeds back to them. You like Dewan said, you'll be amazed how many homeless kids we have mm -hmm. in our community. And so, like you said, we're just disciples just trying to do the best we can and, you know, spread the good word. Well, you know, just keep keep that heart pure and, and more blessings right. to keep right. flowing. Then one other thing, like Chicago has a huge one. And Houston, y'all can't tell me we cannot be Chicago. Grant, I know they're the third largest, but we... A couple years behind till we the third largest, you know, but they do a huge it's coming one. up. What right. you talking about? We about to replace them. Yeah. So, like, we need to go ahead and start now. Starting early. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to actually replace them, like you said. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. coming up. So, I can only imagine when the census, the new census come out. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, things are so messed up in our government. But anyway. Right. That's a whole other thing. Uh, See, we, we going to pray for I'm them gonna, this Saturday, Sunday. We're oh, going to we pray gonna, for them this Sunday. Because mm -hmm, they definitely... <laughs> Definitely needed. Yes. <laughs> so, hey, Dewan Claiborne, K. Okay. Thank y'all for coming through. I was about Thank to go somewhere. Let us. me end this right Look, now. We gonna say a prayer my... for KG right yeah. now. Yeah, because Father it's so... God, no. please you know, <laughs> check out the Houston Gospel Fest next next Sunday. And uh, again, they can log on to www.whatsthemoves.com or just go to Eventbrite Houston Gospel Fest. It should be the first thing that pulls up. We love the community support. Thanks for always supporting us on all our events that yes. we do. And hey, we making moves. You're making some moves. So thank y'all for coming through. Thank hey, thanks for having, having us, man. You, hey, hey, again, happy belated birthday. KG, keep doing your thing on we'll this. We'll see you on uh, Sunday. Yeah, we'll see you Sunday. <laughs> no doubt.
Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth, welcoming uh, two lovely, vivacious women in the studio with us this morning. Incredible talents. Uh, they are part of the Ensemble Theater summer production of Sisters, the musical. So please welcome actor, dancer, and singers, Miss Ebony Williams. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And the lovely Dalali, po- how do you say Pataki. Pataki. Yes. Did I say your first name right? Yes. Yes. Dalali Pataki, actor and singer. Welcome, ladies. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having us. How long Happy have you all here. been acting and singing and dancing? Ooh. <laughs> this is Ebony speaking, and I have been acting, singing, and dancing since I was about, I would say, 10 years old, officially. I did okay. Nutcracker at 10. And, um, oh, wow. So you're a dear, uh, real dance, like yeah, ballet. And, um, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not the, the best ballet dancer, but I do have <laughs> some background in ballet. Mm-hmm. But yes. Watch, and then she'll get mm-hmm. on the stage right. and then hit every turn, every split, <laughs> yeah. every, right. Hey, Just, it'll be the contemporary the <laughs> piece of the year. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Delali? Oh. Well, I have been um, performing for a very long time. Uh, I, I started in high school okay, and um, con- continued in undergrad, uh, went to graduate and did it a while professionally. But I've been in Houston three years this July. Oh, So um, I, to be honest, I actually thought that I was going to hang my hat up and teach uh-huh. and then uh, but, you know, every time you get out you just pull me back in you know? yeah. so um this is my first time with the ensemble theater and it has been an incredible journey so i'm excited to get back into the arts and just looking forward to this great run yeah yeah good yeah. stuff uh sisters is running now through july, july 29th Okay, so so we're we're wrapping up at the end of the month. Um, tell us about the musical, Sisters. <laughs> a brief synopsis, if you will. You want to go? Uh, it is a, a very interesting musical. Um, it's about family and sisterhood. Uh, there's a very deep storyline. I won't give it all because you do have to come see right. it. Um, but it touches on racism. It touches on family and love and um, just being there and supporting one another through hard times and just a lot of lessing, lessons for everyone. And it's relatable for, for everyone. Yeah, I'm a little, yeah. um, as I'm talking to you all, I'm, I'm really disappointed I wasn't able to uh, make it to the performance on last Saturday. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, uh, Robert had set up for me to, you know, come and I was going to check it out. But then something came up um, on our sister station, Magic 102, okay. uh, live broadcast. So I had to uh, go and do that. And mm-hmm. so I missed last weekend. But you still have some um, opportunity. But I, but I still got some time. But yeah, yeah but it would have made more yeah. sense for me to have seen the play before yeah, I, I talked to you all, you yeah. know, so yeah. I could, right. you I know, be more right. privy yeah. to yeah. what it is and we can discuss yeah. um, the things that are going on. What would you say is the underlining theme in Sisters, Delali? Whoosh, whoosh. Uh, there's so many messages, but I think that the message is very relevant for today in speaking to the youth. Okay. And um, because you have four, you have four sisters mm-hmm. and a daughter slash niece mm-hmm. uh, who are coming into this attic um, after the death of, of the sister's grandmother. Mm-hmm. So we're in this attic where we're preparing for her memorial and we're going through all of these things things mm-hmm. or these items that mm-hmm. the grandmother has mm-hmm. had. But it's taking us through a journey through through music you know, through history. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a message that we need the daughter and the niece to get. Mm-hmm. And sometimes um, we kind of forget that. You know? So, so is, is yeah. it safe to say that, you know, of course there's a family dynamic here. Yeah. Are we dealing with secrets and, you know, th- stories or things that weren't told and it's like, oh, this is why this is because yes, this happened. Exactly. And this is why that yes. is because that happened. Exactly. But guess what? Yes. It's something that somebody or somebody uh-huh. in the audience will say, ooh, I know, I know that, that person. Uh-huh. I know that person. Uh-huh. And I know that person. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's very relatable. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. You listen to Access Houston. We're talking to actor Ebony Williams and Delani Pataki <laughs> yeah. uh, from the Ensemble <laughs> Theater. They are starring in the musical Sisters, which is running at the Ensemble through the 29th. Ninth. You yeah. said, okay, yes. I wanted mm-hmm. to make sure I got that right. What, what has this uh, experience been? Did it bring out anything um, in you ladies with playing these characters? Did you see yourselves in, yes. in, in any of these characters or mm-hmm. somebody that you knew that was close to you? Well, my grandmother um, passed away last year, mm. October. My condolences. Yes. Mine two yes. years mm-hmm. ago. So you saying that y'all going through the stuff and the music, like yes. that was me going through mm-hmm. my grandmother's stuff and coming across a box of cassettes. Mm-hmm. Of, wow. You know, wow. gospel yeah. and R&B yeah. cassettes. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. And so um, it just really t- touched home you know of just being in the attic and you know trying to uh, bring this character to life and what I did was I just had to think about my grandmother and you know think about my aunt and Roberta who is Delali Pataki she reminds (laughs) me so much of my aunt she's definitely Mm pro-black and um, it just it it brought a lot out of me so and it it just it touched home. So yeah, mm-hmm. indeed. Mm-hmm. I would definitely say um, because I work with youth, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes we don't want to share those hardships that we've endured. Um, but in doing that, when you don't share, the youth don't grow. Mm-hmm. So um, the experience brings about enlightenment for me about how important it is to be vulnerable to our young people mm-hmm. so that they see where they come from, that they see that you can overcome challenges and mm-hmm. obstacles. Mm-hmm. So it's just been, it's been an enlightening experience for me. What has been the audience reaction so far? Or like, you know, afterwards when you all are out in the lobby and folks are wanting to take pictures <laughs> and stuff. Had what some has been great the, audience. the response? Response. Yes, we have had wonderful audiences. And yesterday, I believe, was the first time we had the young people mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. and how they received us. Really? Yes. What was the age group? Uh, I don't know. Maybe anyway. preteen. Okay. Or maybe 12, 11 oh, ish. Yeah, up until. And up until high, no, we had TSU there. So yeah, the, was it what is that? Was so that college, summer program? yeah, their summer program. So I think oh, okay, so, yeah. so like high school, high school. seniors, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but they received it well, and they then did. you have your older people come in. When I say older, I mean our grandmothers and great uh-huh. grandmothers, mm-hmm. the like elders. Yes, yeah. yes, our elders. I love that. Yes, yes. our yes. elders who who tell us our job well done. Yeah. So when you have the different groups right. who come to you. On like, both sides yes, of the spectrum so, and yes, and, no, and they're like, Oh wow, yes. it's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so when you know you got something. Feeling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is it's when you a, know you got it's something. A wonderful feeling after the show and you come out and even if you have little obstacles that may happen on stage, you know, the audience doesn't see that. They they see you pushing through. And so just to come out and, you know, be received very well and have great comments, it makes it makes you feel good. It, it's almost like you you come off a high when, yeah. you, when, you, when you step out. But it, it's a beautiful thing um, being able to um, bring the arts and share your craft with the world yeah so So check it out it's running through july 29th at the ensemble theater sisters the musical Uh, you can log on to the ensemble's uh website shout out to uh elaine what's up miss mars and and, and robert Um, everybody over there you know Elaine has been trying to get me for for years, and I gotta I, I need come on, come I, I on, gotta come down. On. Yeah, I did a concert reading with you all, so we did the concert reading of uh, Fences, oh, and wow. um, yeah, that one at the ensemble, and I also seen it um, in the movie. You know, it, yeah, I haven't seen, I haven't watched the movie yet, and I'm like, I should. I just I did a concert reading of this uh, play, and so off of that strength, yeah, they were like you need to be an actor like you were so great how you you so know because i took huh? it the extra step you know i stood oh, yeah. up when i read you know i really acted out my part i yeah. mean in my mind i'm, I'm, a, a, I, I'm a cast <laughs> yeah in my mind i'm like you know yeah. if i'm playing this character and i'm sounding like you yeah. know this then mm-hmm. let me be that right. and, uh, and so right. they like that but um yeah, I'm a I'm a mess with it. As soon as some things calm down up here, oh, come on. But stop ladies, playing. thank you for thank stopping you. through and letting no, us know about you. this incredible production that is going on through July 29th at the Ensemble. Um, I can't wait to see it. You all have just 
really, I mean, when Robert was explaining to me what the uh, play was about, I immediately I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And now for you guys to underscore yeah. what he shared with me, mm-hmm. I, I really am going to uh, set aside, like, be like, okay, nothing here. I'm going for I'm going there. We're going to look for you. So thank you. Ebony Williams, Delani Pataki. Thank you all so much. Thank Thank you. you. And thank you for listening to Access Houston. We'll be back with more Access Houston on 97.9 The Box.